In this video, we'll be learning about .NET MAUI expanders using C# -SAP. and this uh, expanders comes from the plugin that is .NET MAUI Community Toolkit. So here we'll be using a static expander as well as the dynamic expander you can see over here. So static is just adding two items and showing it with the help of C# -SAP. It is very easy tutorial, just like what we have done in our previous video. Okay, that for XAML. So in, in order to get to the XAML uh, area, so I'll just give the playlist video where uh, you will just go to uh, places number 41 where I have all told about XAML implementation so same way uh, the static expander and how the dynamic expander works so same way over here also the, the, uh, using the CSAP we are going to just show the uh, simple two items uh, as a static expander and this is just coming from the API that is a list of items coming from the API so in this video what we actually need to do is like we'll just add two plugins from .NET MAUI Community Toolkit uh, that is uh, the MAUI core and the markup okay three plugins and don't forget to initialize it in the maui program.cs so i have just added all these three four plugins and i have uh, used the namespaces too that's all okay so uh at first what we need to as uh, need to do is like we will gener generate a csap page for sure okay so same thing uh like like how the jaml was done okay and uh, if i'll just don't uh, allow you to do a uh, see anything because i want to make uh, this demo very easy one okay uh the thing first of all that we are going to do is we are just going to show a simple expander just like this you can see over here a simple expander okay with the item one and item two right so uh, uh, let's not discuss about this one okay first of all just the, this simple one and how we have done in jaml was the same way we are going to do it in, in csap too okay so a grid okay a main grid will be there at first or main grid is going to be happy uh, be there and which is going to add a expander okay so expander on grid dot row zero as a hide auto okay so we are not going to discuss about this two one that is like uh, adding one label and adding add another adding another this one but uh, this uh, create a simple expander at first okay so simple expander uh, just add this line of code okay up to up to here okay and then that's all now uh, the grid will contain the main grid main grid mid grid main grid is going to add a simple static expander okay so so this what is this uh, simple static expander is just a class initialization okay so uh, expander you need to understand is every time uh, a expander will have header as well as content let's not discuss about this one as of now okay so every time a expander has a header and the content okay so header how the header looks like is this way okay so this is the header and this is the body okay so header has one image that uh, uh, expand as well as contract right so here uh, we have um a header let's design this header at first okay and then the body okay so let's discuss about the body itself because it's very small okay so a body a content a expander has a body okay a content and we're having two items item and y item two that's all as a body but header has one image right so what we actually need to do is like like how we have done in our uh, uh, jaml uh, implementation okay the same thing we are going to do that is uh, uh we'll be downloading uh one uh, lower uh, arrow down image uh and then we'll be adding it to the resources folder okay so same thing i have done okay so for uh arrow down because uh, it's a arrow down just download it but don't download the arrow up okay uh, or else it won't work so <clears throat> And then rotation is going to happen so same thing uh, on our xaml2 uh, what we actually have done is like we have added a header right here header header this is the body right so same thing uh, a header is going to be added with the grid grid will have two columns same thing zero and one grid dot column zero and one okay in grid dot uh, column zero we'll be adding one label simple uh, tap me expander and grid dot one one uh, here image will be added okay and then the rotation is going to be helped uh, help, uh, means is going to be helped with the help of data triggers okay so same thing like how we have done in jaml we have will be doing it in csap too okay so header will be adding it with a grid okay a grid will be having having two columns grid dot column zero uh, will be adding a uh, in that uh, specific header equals to new grid okay because this is expander which has a header as it's and uh, uh, we'll be adding that grid with two items means uh, grid dot column zero grid dot column one in grid dot column zero we'll be adding a label as a children okay as a children will be adding a label and another is the image right so image is the is image where a trigger will work so same thing as like xaml we have done okay so in order to make, make the trigger work okay so we'll be having adding a source as a arrow down okay and now how the trigger is going to do is like it is going to see the image okay and then binding is going to happen if 
uh, if the expanded is expanded that means if the uh, expanded is expanded then uh, that is value is true then we are going to set the rotation to 180 degree but if the uh, expander is not expanded that is a value equals to false is expanded equals to false okay that means a source source is this expander okay every time this expander because we have inherited from this class right so this is the expander as a source so this this uh, just don't forget to add as a source and if the expander is not expanded then it, then the value equals to false that that's all okay this is how uh, a simple mm, simple uh, this one uh, expander works and you can just try it off your own and nothing to do worry about the simple expander okay so now the discussion is about the uh, complex expander that is our dynamic expander and the data how it comes but don't skip this video or else this video um, like uh, if you are not following this video then your whole solution won't work if you are using different type of model classes okay i'll just let you know where to focus okay so now what we have done is like we have now again added another uh, into the main grid we have added a label name as dynamic expander example below okay so how our uh, label will look like this way okay so dynamic expander exp example below okay so simple just a differentiation of different classes to make the ui better to look okay so now uh what we actually need to do is like we have to generate a dynamic expander just like how we have done in our um, jamal part two okay so let's go to the jamal part so here you can see this is what uh, we have done in jaml part okay so i'll just uh, let you know what we have to do over here so in uh, jaml 2 we have created a bindable layout a bindable layout which encapsulate multiple uh, what it is called uh, uh, expanders right we'll uh, add it uh, expanders so and now this bindable layout should be added with the items that is coming from the api or database or anywhere else okay so bindable layout uh, we need to create as a vertical stack layout so same thing uh, in the in the c sub 2 okay uh, what i have done is like in the grid dot row 3 okay in the grid dot row 3 what i have done is like it is a grid dot row 3 is uh, added with the my vertical stack layout okay so my vertical stack layout is basically a stack layout only okay and this stack layout is a bindable stack layout whose source is coming from the view model okay so the view model provides all the data and in my previous video too i have already mentioned you about my property items because this my property items should be same in everywhere else every places so we better watch this thing okay and everywhere um, everywhere whenever you are implementing because uh, that's really important so my property items okay so my property item is a list of items that is coming from the api means or the database or uh, from the view model okay so this view model implementation i'll let you know uh, how it really goes the so same thing uh, we have done in our sys up to okay so it's very easy uh, i notify property changed okay that means uh, for we can use bindable object too this is just a property change my property item is going to collect all the items okay uh, and uh, uh, call the collect all the items so this is how the our view model looks like okay so <coughs> this is the property changed uh, event handler <coughs> So this i notify property change right so you already know about i notify property change and we have been discussing about it uh, in our previous tutorial too so every time what we need to generate is a header and the and the body okay so and it should be encapsulated within the uh, observable collection object so that it can be used everywhere so how our model item is going to look like is this way okay so here you need to watch out okay so this property my property items okay my property items that is like now header every time a header is added with a list of property item details and this uh, is going to be a list okay so that this this my property name and my property items should be same or else it's not it's not going to work okay so better watch that thing out and here what we are going to feed is uh, a list of item with the header and the body okay and a body will contain uh, address and the reserve of a bank okay like address uh, like some, some data within associated with the uh, bank okay jp morgan case K bank of america or any anything else okay so just uh, watch that out this is how we are going to set the data if you are com uh, coming from the api that means if you are getting the data from the database then you have to add it with like this way a header is going to be added okay from that is coming from the api and the body that is associated with the header okay just like this way okay just add the body as uh, it might be anything on your case that's all now what we need to do is uh let's go to the c sub page okay so same thing uh, a vertical stack layout 
okay uh, vertical stack layout is added as a bindable uh, item source and multiple items are coming from the uh, view model okay so what we need to now do is like we need to create a uh, like if you, you are creating a bindable object then it must return a item template that means if you are creating a item template right a vertical stack layout or bindable item source okay then bindable layout dot item template should be there because this looks just like a collection view okay so uh, so uh, this collection view has a data template okay and now we are going to add a simple expander that's it a simple expander is going to be added inside it that means uh, what we are going to actually do is like uh now we are going to return like same thing or uh, data uh, means uh, item template and now this is like a uh, like ui that is going to be returned uh to the uh, vertical stack layout and this vertical stack layout is a binding right and it will create multiple items out of it from the view model okay that means uh, the data is going to be collected from here as a view model and then uh, the return new simple dynamic expander is going to give me a data but what is this uh, simple dynamic expanders it's same just like how uh, we have created a, a simple static expander right a simple dynamic expander is same thing okay but the uh, thing over here is like it has also header and the body okay i'll just show it to you header and the content it also have header and the content okay and uh, header is same thing okay so header is header content is the content okay so the thing over here is header has multi that means now the header is going to be binded right so he header might be like a, it's not a hard coded string okay just like this one it's not hard code it's coming from the api right so it must have a binding so in order to create create a header binding so i'll just show it to you how the header works so header level equals to column zero we are just going to create a grid okay grid dot column zero and one column zero and one and then in column dot zero we are going to bind the header that is coming from the api okay so bind the header with the text property that is a label text and in our previous tutorial is 100 of tutorial I, I think there are 30 to 40 tutorials i have um, already mentioned about how the binding works in csap okay just this way okay you can create a binding you are you can add the each individual object with the data as a children okay so i'm just going to add uh, add the children with the uh, data that is a label that gets uh, the header label that gets the data and the image is same okay the same like how the rotation works okay uh, and then the, the Im image if uh, if the expander is expanded this means it is taking the uh, like uh, this property from the class that is a parent okay so if it is expanded then uh, the image rotation is going to have a 182 rotation and or else if the uh, if the ex expander contract then uh, the uh, ro rotation is going to be zero and it is going to be placed at zero column dot one that means this is the column dot one okay so <clears throat> for each individual object we have already discussed about how the uh, upper header works okay now the below body so below body is same thing okay nothing fancy over here okay so here i'll just show it to you how the below body works so below body is a stack layout okay below body is also a stack layout and in our view model too means in our uh, in our xaml too you are you can see uh, vertical stack layout we are creating a body of a body this is the body vertical stack layout and bindable layout dot item source this is also a bindable layout because it is coming from the api right so as a list so this also has uh, the the relationship and that's why we have like same as like jaml a stack layout a content equals to new stack layout and uh, this vertical stack layout is a bindable object and that has data from the view model okay and this view model has like my property items same as like how xaml was done okay my property item and uh, it has a item template for sure it is also acting as like a collection view okay and data data is going to be as simple as it is that is like from this view model it is going to take reserve as well as address as a text property and add attach it to the item template okay as a stack layout okay so same thing okay so here bindable layout dot item source bindable item uh, property and the same thing it is going to get all the items from the view model and then uh, binding takes place for the reserve as well as address and we can just add multiple items to it but don't forget to uh, like mention my property item my property item as a bindable source because if you are not going to implement it and it's not going to work so this is really easy way of creating uh, expanders in CISA. so if you have any problem let me know that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials